Hey there, cats and kittens. Where did you come from? Did you beam in? And who are those uh, interesting looking people behind you coming out of that giant bubble? Speaking of unique means of transportation, this week's comic book of the week is Star Trek Legion of Superheroes 4. An IDW comic. It's written by Chris Roberson with pencils by Jeffrey Moy. In this crossover, you find characters from two different properties interacting that normally would not. On the IDW side, you have the cast of the classic Star Trek series. So you have Captain Kirk, and you have Spock, and you have McCoy, and you have Uhura, and you have Chekhov, and you have Sulu, and they meet from DC's side from the Legion of Superheroes, Cosmic Boy, Saturn Girl, Brainiac 5, Lightning Lad, and Shadow Lass. What's wonderful about this issue is that we find out that these two casts share a lot in common. On the Star Trek side, you have Starfleet, which protects the United Federation of Planets, which is an organization in which all these different worlds, different races, different civilizations work together, sharing information, and each advancing themselves to the pinnacle of their civilizations. On the DC side, you have the United Planets, which again is protected by the Legion of Superheroes, in which you have representatives from many different worlds and many different species, but in this case, they're an elite core because each representative has a unique superhuman ability. Now, what I thought was great is that, of course, you have the classic misunderstanding in which at first they fight and then someone says, whoa, 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 everybody, let's, let's cool down and let's talk. And that's a classic invention that goes way back to the beginning of comics in which you have first the fight and then the good guys ceasing to fight and really figuring out what's really going on. What's wonderful is because these two universes have become meshed together, uh, fused together, you have all these unique kind of um, amalgamated characters from both universes. So it's fun. There's so many Easter eggs if you're a fan of both these series. Now, if you're not, you can enjoy it as a simple action adventure story with sci-fi elements, of course. The art is very lively and it's fun. And the writer clearly has a great seat of reverence and respect for both these properties. And it clearly shows in the storytelling and, of course, even in the art. So it's just a fun read. And as a fan of both of them, I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to see how they can further work together to meet their common goals. Well, guys, that's all for now. As always, Thank you so much for watching my videos and please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would pin me to your homepage. All right, guys, I wish all of you a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye.